Uh, trigger light on. Sending that to ift. Alexa, trigger light off. Sending that to ift. Take some time, a little bit, few seconds, but it works. So guys, so just now I just demonstrate Xiaomi Yi Light, and it works with uh, Alexa. So I'll just go ahead and show you guys how they do it. So first things, you obviously need the Alexa apps. IFTTT, which is the one that you use to. Uh, do a command and send a command to Tasker, and uh, of of course the the e light apps itself. So first things, um, the, the easier way for you to do it is of of oh, oh yeah. So there's a few ways you can do it. I don't know if you guys have seen like other tutorials, but the way I do it is you don't need to use the. To do some codings, all you have to do is uh, to create some kind of actions where the tasker can integrate it into a command where it will send it to Alexa, I guess, and it will turn on and off the lights. So, anyway, I, I for my uh, for my actions, I use line to send message to trigger the tasker to turn on and off the e lights. <laughs> Wait, well, for that ado, I'll show you how it's done. First things, I guess, um, well, you either you can use lines or WhatsApp, I don't know if it's IFTTT, I think you, you can only integrate with uh, line and Android SMS, and uh, I guess that's it. Only line messenger at the moment. So, uh, we'll go to, uh, let's go to IFTTT first. Obviously, I already set up a um, bunch of a. Uh, I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with F uh, FTTT. First, you just create an account, and um, I'll show you my recipe. Recipe? Is that what it's called? So, my recipe is um, if you say Alexa trigger light off, then send message to line. And uh, another one is about the same. If you say Alexa trigger light on, then send message to line again. Basically, these two are the same. I just use two because obviously for one is light on and lights off. Let's go ahead and press this for new uh, actions. So you press Amazon Alexa. I'm not from US. I'm from Malaysia, but. If you get the Alexa from US, obviously it will work anyway, it doesn't matter. Just that it's a US here. So I'll, I'll just go ahead and create a new recipe. If you press this, Amazon Alexa again. Go ahead and say, um, say a specific phrase. <clears throat> it can be any kind of phrase. Uh, obviously, the shorter the better, but um, for this one, I'll just say, um, uh, what? What should I say? Test, test. Just I'll just simply say test. Okay. So it means that if Alexa, you have to say Alexa trigger. You always have to use trigger. Say trigger first before saying the actual things. For this, you just say. Alexa trigger test. If Alexa trigger test, then uh, well, this is where you can uh, uh, any uh, you do any kind of this command to integrate it with the tasker letter. Tasker tasker. <laughs> for for this one, I'll just show you how it's done with line. So for line. It's like uh, it will send a message if you say test, <coughs> test. <coughs> um, you will you just press uh, this and say one on one chat. 
message any kind of okay just press like AA doesn't matter actually you just want you just you use this line to integrate with the test calculator so continue uh, you just press continue and uh, you press finish doop, doop, doop. so you have it you just created a new uh, recipe which is called if you say Alexa trigger test then send message to line which is the AAA as the message so go ahead and I'll just press home there so um, basically this phone is an old Motorola razor phone direct razor I basically just use this 24 hours on with a USB cable to charge it uh, this is basically just my um, home automation that works with Alexa. I don't use this to take max call. I don't use this daily as a go-to phone, obviously. And uh, the next thing you need is the Yi Light. I'm sure you guys, the you guys that use Yi Light, you already have these apps. So um, I won't go ahead with that. I'll just go ahead with um, Tasker. You have to buy these uh, apps, but it's worth the money. It is worth money. So uh, when you press Tasker, you have these kind of things here. So first you have um, these two other profiles that I already made, but I'll just go ahead and make a new profile so that I can show you guys. When you press the plus, you go to event and you go to uh, UI and you go to notification on the application you press this scroll down to search for line and uh, that's it <laughs> and you go back if you go back it will say uh, new task so for the task I already have like a couple of uh, tasks here but I'll just uh, press new task to show you guys again you can name your task so let's just name it as a light like 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 no I want to say I already have another one called like so let's go ahead and say Li like yep he liked okay so after you press the task you press a uh, plus and then you go to plugin this is where your Li like will show up here. And after you like, you just go ahead and uh, press the configurations here. Add device, add e light, which I renamed it to living room light already. But it's basically the same. For the actions, you have a couple of uh, oops, uh, options here, but uh, like brightness, scene, toggle, open and close. So you just go ahead and choose the toggle. This means that uh, it will. If the light is on, when you say a command, it will turn off. If the light is on, uh, turn off. It will you will turn on if you say the command again. So it just going forth on off on off. So it's, uh, the toggle is the way to go. <laughs> Without further ado, so uh, time out is where it's kind of like delay something like a delay event. You just press ten or five. Doesn't matter. Doesn't affect much, I guess. And uh, that's it. You just created a new uh, notification line. Um, if you want to, uh, you have to exit the first, uh, the task first before it will save. Save first. And uh, okay, so it works already. Let's just go ahead and test out. Uh, what's the damn? What's the nine I, I was using just now? <laughs> Forgot. God damn it! I just created it. I forgot the words for it. Trigger test. Okay, yeah. So, so let's just test it out. Alexa, trigger test. Sending that to it. What? Okay, um. Yeah, it works. It kind of works. I'm not sure why it's turned again. Let's see again. Alexa, trigger test. 
sending that to ift. Oops, I think it's better if you off the this one, these two. Uh, let's see again. Okay. So I think it kind of contradict with the other notification. So uh, I just turn on one uh, test at a time. So let's try again. Alexa, trigger test. Sending that to gift. All right. So it turns out that it work. Mm, sorry, it's out of focus. I don't know why every time it's like in darkness, it won't focus on the screen. God damn it. I was recording this on uh, another Android device, so uh, obviously the camera video recorder isn't that great, but um, obviously you've seen that it works. So let's uh, turn it on again. It's the same. You can use, you can, uh, can use other command for it, but for now, Alexa trigger test. Trigger test. Sending that to ift. All right. So uh, it turned on and it turned off again. I don't know why, but basically it works. I think uh, just because it kind of contradict with um, the other message, which is why it kind of messed up a little bit. So anyway, I just. Um, I'm, I hope you guys know what I'm talking about. So basically, it's a uh, Alexa trigger test. Wait. Sending that to Ift. All right, it's this is better. So basically, what it does is uh, you create the. Um, uh, chain command in IFTTT you tell Alexa to send basically send a message to line and uh, and you use Tasker to um, to show the event of the line notification if you receive a notification it will turn on this task test test which is e like to turn on and uh, I guess that's it. That's how as easy as, as I can explain. And um, you can, uh, f but for this, the, for my method, you won't have to do any kind of programming or coding, something like that. But then, uh, basically, you just uh, use this line notification can only, what, can only control one light. If you have like multiple device like other lights or you want to turn on remote control, if you use this kind of method, you have to find another way, another kind of notifications for the tasker to perform. For this one, I use line, but then you can use like maybe Gmail or like notes or send notification from Gmail or notes or any kind of uh, other. And as long as it, it has kind of um, notifications, you can uh, trigger the event but for this one for this particular light I'll use I use line so uh, I guess that's it that's my try to explain as much as as detailed as possible but if you guys have any kind of questions and uh, you can try to uh, comment in my video below and I'll try my best to help you with it so uh, that's it um, hope you guys enjoy this video and hope you guys can do it yourself. Just try it out. It's really easy. It took took me a, a day to figure it out, but well, at the end of the day, this is what I came out, which is awesome. Of course, you have you can try other things also, like the brightness, change the brightness and uh, what the scenes, like the uh, because my e light is like uh, multiple colors, so I can change to other. Colors, of course. But for now, that's it from me. Um, see you guys again soon. Hope you have a nice day. Bye. Yeah, yeah, yeah.